Hi everybody, this is Tim Freeland. I wanna give you just something in advance that's coming out, press release is coming next week in regards to Defeat Days. Um, back in 98, when Defeat turned 50, um, they did these um, collectible playing cards. I call them Raider trading cards. Uh, the Raider actors, mostly the gang, had these. I collected them. There's Wayne Eddy signing that, uh, J.B. Dudley signing um, his card, Poster Transburg. And I've had these over the years, and you can you can see on the back side kind of connects the name with the face and gives information about who they are, what they did, um, gives these guys uh, opportunities to interface with people to give out their card and answer questions, and people to kind of collect the cards. Um, so I had this set here, and then guess what we went and did? We went and did a whole new set this year, thirty three different cards from 33 reenactors, gang members and defenders, um, and bank employees. Uh, I'm gonna give you tons of really cool information right now. This colorization of Joseph Lee Haywood's portrait was done by artificial intelligence. So this nice printed version of, of Joe is, is kinda new, and we put it right on a card. And of course on the back side, there's the vault and some information about what he did. Uh, next to him, the two tellers that were in the bank with him, Alonzo Bunker and Wilcox, they get their card. And everybody has this, this bit of information uh, uh, that nicely kind of says, you know, who they are on the backside with their picture and their bio. There's Jerry Skuzacic. And all this done um, especially for the 75th anniversary, um, being that we did it for the 50th. So this is something where you'll be able to get these off the Raiders and get some signatures. Um, we're kind of prepared if anybody wants a signing or if you just want to come up to us and ask to see uh, their card. We're going to be handing these out. And, you know, we the history, just all the detail in each of these. Here's, here's the Demand family. Of course, uh, Chuck, who recently passed away, was in the 1948 reenactment playing Henry Wheeler. He would later, later be uh, a writer, and all of that is there in his profile here. But then, of course, his son, um, you have uh, Chip, and then Chip's three kids, Trip, Molly, and Gus. So you have the DeMann family here. Uh, Molly does have her mom's picture here, both of them in costume, and information on that, and Molly taking over as the reenactment coordinator. Uh, then you have, you know, Wayne Eddy and... I could just go through all these. Here's John Hellerud, who's played A.R. Manning. Um, and he's so humble, he didn't want his picture on there. So I did find one of him kind of in the background. And then he's having the the um, the battle through the staircase that happened between Bob Younger, played by J.B. Dudley here. So, and everybody always asks, who's Jesse James? We have two of them. Uh, Jay Hellerud plays um, Jesse James. And you, you're going to see a lot of family um, members that just uh, multiple generations, um, Sean's kids and uh, father's son here. Uh, and then we have Mary and her kids, since babies have been in the reenactments, uh, playing townspeople. And you have JB, Kevin, and Mike Dudley. So you have the multiple generation here. Um, and then you have, you know, and then I, Dan Kui, who is a former Governor Al Kui's son. I love how he has his collar up. It looks just great. He's always played such a great kind of telltale, typical gangster here. And um, so he's going to obviously be gone. His father, uh, Al, passed away this week at 99. Um, the funeral is going to be September 1st during um, the 1 o'clock raid reenactment. So uh, we did have a card made for Al in advance. And... Um, I thought that was pretty special. I like uh, Danny Anthony, who plays Styles, who dies. I like his claim to fame is that he is, focus, fallen from a horse and died more than any other rider. You get all these kind of fun things as everybody went through and, and kind of did their piece. Uh, my daughter, Riley, she did the art for the button um, for the Scriber building. So we got everybody involved here. Uh, yeah, so cool. And we have... Um, uh, let's see here. We have the two uh, J.S. Allens, the Get Your Guns Boys, are out in the bank, both Brad Ness and Jerry Skluzacic. Um, There's me. And then uh, we have another family here. Of course, we have the Radke family. And then here's uh, Jesse James, played by Jess Radke. So there's the other. People always ask, Where's, who's Jesse? Um, townspeople. Uh, we got everybody um, involved in, you know, multiple generations. There's 
Herman and his son Foster and Foster's daughters. You know, so it is definitely a family affair. But these are going to be available for purchase at the uh, Northfield Histor uh, yeah, the Museum Store um, starting Wednesday. So there's going to be a case, uh, 1995 or 1999, 20 bucks for 33 reenactment cards. Um, collectibles, only so many printed up. Um, get, get yours while they're hot. Um, ask for them. And uh, yes, I just wanted to rant here about all this. We started in January. Uh, Engage Print, Sean over at Engage Print did the design. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, we had Dan Nuger there of uh, Engage Print helping out. Um, Bridget Halcock is the committee photographer. She took most of these amazing pictures. Uh, her work is, is seen here. Um, yeah, so just thanks to everybody that, that helped get these, and uh, we're really excited about these cards. Um, look forward to uh, meeting you guys, and we'll give you my card.